Hi guys, welcome back. In this AI Weekend video series, we are going to talk about an all new Selenium Force Selenium Docker Selenium. So Selenium already has this concept of what is called as Selenium Docker. I mean, you can run Selenium with Docker containers using the Selenium images, which is available. But this time what we're going to discuss is a bit different. Basically, Selenium has released what is called as a Docker Selenium. Using this Docker Selenium, you can actually see how you can try out the new versions of Selenium. So today we're going to try out the Selenium's new Alpha 7 version. That is the Selenium new Alpha 7 Selenium grid versions. And then you can see how we can run the Selenium grid using those containers. So basically you can do all sort of jazz using your own customizations using Selenium grid. You can make it as a containers and stuff. But now Selenium team have given their own way of building those containers. It's all pre-built basically. You can also see that this particular container image actually has this XVFP, which means you can run the UI based uh, test and you can see the UI, like how the test is actually being executed on that container. And you can also run that as a Docker Compose, which means you can run different Selenium nodes in different uh, grid containers, which is going to be running automatically connected. So everything is going to be there out of the box. And Selenium team has very clearly told in here, as you can see, that this particular project is made possible by the volunteer contributing who has put in thousands of hours of their own and made the source code freely available. So it is available like three days from now, which is pretty cool because it is pretty, pretty brand new and we're going to see how we can actually work with that and we can leverage the power. But I could really see the potential of this particular uh, project itself because this particular project actually has everything for you set up out of the box, meaning you don't really have to do any sort of uh, things manually like how you were doing before because I released a course like four years before I guess on the Selenium grid hub container setups and all those stuff where I used to tell that this is the Selenium uh, hub that you need to configure and then you need to make the network bridging and then you need to run the Selenium node and then you need to connect it and all those stuff. You don't have to do anything like that because using this Docker Selenium, everything will be there for you out of the box as you can see over here. For instance, if you're going to run this particular Selenium on a standalone mode, you can see that docker run hyphen d hyphen p, the port number, and then this particular image that you specify, then it is going to run the Firefox node for you on that particular Selenium server, which is pretty, pretty cool. And then it is, as I told you, this is a standalone server. Everything is going to run for you automatically for you. And because this container image is also like standalone Firefox, and this is the Firefox with Selenium 4 Alpha 7 pre-release version. And similarly, you can do it for the Chrome or the Opera browser, which is pretty awesome. So you don't have to do anything like how we were doing before, which was very, very painful earlier. But now all of them are going to be coming for you out of the box over here, which is one of the interesting thing that I really see in this particular project, which is nothing but the Docker Selenium project. And this will make everybody's life much, much easier. Because if you could see all those days we are, while we were talking about Selenium grid setup and all those things, it was very, very complicated. I mean, people have to know like what is the way that you need to run the Selenium hub and Selenium node and then how you configure and all those stuff. So now everything's going to be gone. It's very, very straightforward and easy right now at this particular point of time, right? And then there is another way you can do run the Selenium grid and node as well. Because we already discussed about Selenium grid setup of Selenium 4 grid setup earlier, like early this year, I guess where we told that there is a standalone mode and there is another way that you can run or specify the hub separately, uh, server separately, and the bridge network and everything separately. You can do that as well as the command as you can see over here. This is the Docker networking that you can specify and then you can specify each and everything separately or you can run everything from the Docker compose file as you can see over here. So this Docker Compose file actually has a version 3 as well, where you can see within this version 3, they have specified the services, which has the Chrome, and this is the image that you're going to be specifying, and then the volume mapping, and then it depends on Selenium Hub. So you're telling that this is this particular image or the container that you're going to be running is going to be depend on the Selenium Hub, basically. And then this is the environment variable for that. And then similarly for the Firefox and for the Opera browser. And finally, the Selenium Hub is going to have an image as you can see over here. And then it is going to have a name and then the, all the ports for these different 
uh, containers that it is going to be running over there, which is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, all these concepts are very, very important and everything is coming for you automatically over here. I really like this because this way it reduces so much of our time. We don't really have to do anything over here. Everything is coming out of the box over here itself. I guess I talked about the exact same thing like four years before, but not this level of detail in Docker Compose. We created a very, very super simple Docker Compose for that matter, and we did execute it, but this is really, really cool. It's coming out of the box right now. And another important thing is, another interesting thing, thing is, this particular uh, image also come with the XPFB, which means you can now run this particular image along with the XPFB and you can see how this particular uh, test is actually running and you can see whether it is executing or not and things of that nature. So everything you can see from there using the real VNC, you can connect it and then you can see how the test is actually executing. Uh, so everything is there. I really like the matter of fact, everything is coming out of the box with the Selenium team, which is pretty cool. And now we can quickly see how it actually works and stuff. So I'm just gonna jump into my uh, execution mode right now. So I'm just going to open the uh, item terminal. So let's see the item. There you go. Um, oops, maybe it's because I have this item terminal opening or running in a different uh, window. Selenium for grid. There you go. So this is the project which I'm actually running for my Selenium grid execution. Uh, and I have already uh, made the changes for my code. So you can see that I have already pulled the image as well. So if I just do the Docker uh, images, we can see that I already have Selenium standalone Firefox, Chrome, Opera, uh, and the node for Firefox, Chrome, and Hub and stuff. So all the pre-release version is already available. I just downloaded it before our session so that it takes uh, some time to download and stuff to save some time as well. So everything is there for us. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna run a standalone mode and I will show you how the code is actually gonna be executing. So for doing that, I'm just gonna grab the uh, command for the Chrome and just gonna paste it over here. And one more change which I'm gonna make along with this particular command is I just want to make sure that I also enable the XVFB. So basically the XVFB will be running on a different port number so this is 5900 is the port number. So you need to specify that as well. I'm just gonna copy that, I'm gonna paste it over here. That's it, I guess. And I'm gonna hit enter. So it's up and running right now. That's it, this is the only thing which I have to do all the way. And then if I just go to the docker ps hyphen a, uh, you can see that there is this uh, container running uh, for us on this particular port number. I'm just gonna copy this particular uh, container ID and I'm gonna say docker logs of this particular container ID and if I hit enter, you can see that the started the Selenium uh, standalone version for us, which is pretty, pretty cool. So basically it tells me that it's actually running. Uh, and now if I just go to the uh, localhost uh, colon 444 and if I see the status over here, you can see that it is actually running for us. So the Chrome, browser is running the capability and you can see that the count number has been shown and stuff all is available for us right now so if i go to my code in uh, the intellij ide over here and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to change this from firefox option to chrome option because i'm actually executing the uh, chrome version i'm just going to save this and if I just try to execute it, it's gonna execute for sure, but I'm gonna make one more change over here. I'm just gonna uh, open the real VNC, uh, all right, and the port number is 4444. I'm just gonna connect it. Oh, sorry, it's 590, uh, zero, all right. So you can see that it's gonna ask me for the authentication, which is nothing but it's asking me the password to connect to that particular container. The password is actually secret. It is available in the documentation. Oops, uh, maybe I missed it. So if I go over here, you can see that it mentions like secret, that is the password. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it over here. And once I do that, you can see that it is connected to that particular container for us, which is pretty cool. 
And once it is connected for us, now all we're going to do is we're going to execute and see how it, this particular test is going to be executing and whether the browser is going to spawn for us or not. So for doing that, I'm just going to go over here and then I'm going to execute this test. So basically it is a cucumber uh, based test and it is going to execute the test for us. You can see that once the test is executed, you can see the browser is actually coming over there, the Chrome browser. And now it is also executing the test for us over there. So it's entering the username and password and it's testing, running the test and the test has got successfully completed as well. Which means it is currently executing guys. I mean, I mean everything is working fine without any problem, which is pretty, pretty cool. So this, this is really cool because this way we can ensure that our test is actually working fine and we could able to run the test using the Selenium grid setup, which is nothing but the standalone grid setup in this case. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, stop everything. I mean the VNC server or whatever which I'm executing at the moment. So uh, I just closed it over here and I'm also going to go to the item terminal and uh, I'm just going to stop this particular uh, standalone server for that matter. And I'm going to go to the Docker Compose. So I have already copy pasted the uh, Docker Compose file as you saw in this particular uh, particular example which is given by the team the docker compose v3 i've already did that and if you want to see what and how it's going to look like so this is how it looks like so you can see that uh, the chrome image environment variable firefox operas and this is the uh, all those stuff so which is pretty cool now if i want to execute this particular command as well i'm just going to do a docker uh, compose up so docker hyphen compose hyphen f the file name and up so once you do that you can see that it is going to start all of them for us so basically it's going to start the selenium grid the uh, setup along with the hub nodes and everything so everything is going to come for us which is pretty pretty cool so you can see this is the magic i was talking about and once it is done you can go to the uh, safari browser and then you can just search for the uh, status here right now we can see apart from uh, Chrome, we also get the Opera Blink uh, and also the Firefox. So now I can run my test straight away to Opera Blink or uh, with the Firefox by not even making any uh, changes uh, in my code. So I'm just going to execute that. And this particular code is also going to be executing without any problem. So this is the real, real power which I was talking about when it comes to the Selenium grid and we can really try out with a new version of Selenium uh, using this particular Docker Selenium, which is very, very cool. I guess this is something, uh, not a very big deal. We already have these features. We can also customize it and build it, but it saves time with this particular setup for us. And that's what I thought we can share about that to the community. And once again, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and do check out our new exit automation platform. It is getting a lot of improvement right now and our teams are working behind the scene a lot. You can go ahead and check out the new courses which is available on that particular platform, which is very, very cool. And do subscribe this channel. You'll be really liking it, all the new videos. Thank you.